So, testing, testing. One, two. Are you recording? Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello? <clears throat> Hi, everybody. Today we're going to talk about sustainable development. It all started with a woman named Gro Harlem Brundland. Here she is. She was the one who spoke about sustainability for the first time in 1987 at the World Commission on Environment and Development. Our journey starts here. Oh, uh, my name's Lisa, and this is Hector. We're both engineers at Radici Group, one of the most active chemicals groups worldwide, specialising in plastics and synthetic fibres. Our production chain... Oh, yes, um, that means all the activities, technologies and resources involved in creating, processing, distributing, marketing and supplying a product. <clears throat> As I was saying, our production chain includes all the steps to make polyamide polymer, otherwise known as nylon. Like in nylon tights, the polymers are sold as yarn, or granules, or chips. Our products are used as raw materials. Yarn for clothing, sport, or furnishings. Or they become customised by mixing in additives to meet specific mechanical requirements so they can be moulded into parts for cars, household appliances or electrical and electronic components. We are committed to optimising resources. We use renewable energy, we recycle and recover materials and we are monitored by outside organisations that certify our work. But let's look at an example to explain this concept. Recovery is the basis of the entire Radici Group system. We use post-industrial recovery, process the rejects and waste from the fibres department, not to make a new yarn, which has a high energy cost, but to make materials in the plastics department, where they become top-grade products, products that retain the performance characteristics needed for moulding polyamide. And we also do post-consumer recycling, a process that takes shredded used plastic bottles, for example, and produces materials good enough to make polyester yarn for apparel and furnishings. The quality of the recycled products is comparable to virgin raw materials. In addition, Radici Group focuses its research on biopolymers, the manufacture of yarn made from processed vegetable sugars. Sustainability also concerns the energy used in production processes. Our partner, GeoGreen, supplies our polymerization plants with 100% renewable and certified green energy. Another example is the Novel Gas co-generation plant at Radici Chimica in Novera. It produces both electric power and steam. Thanks to the combined cycle, it reduces polluting emissions by 35%. Now, after achieving these excellent results, we're taking on another challenge. It's called a product eco-profile, and you can get one by carrying out a life cycle assessment, LCA for short. An LCA is a way to measure the potential impact of the product life cycle and its energy and environmental load. Our first study has determined the energy impact, the total gross energy requirement, or GER. Hector, please. Total GER is the energy required to produce polyamide and GWP is the contribution to the greenhouse effect. These values indicate the systems with the highest environmental impact. Starting from the LCA, we have reduced the environmental footprint of our production processes and obtained a model for other strategic product studies. All the details can be found in our sustainability report which is prepared according to the new international standards and gives a snapshot of our sustainable production chain. So that's it. I hope, <coughs> we hope, uh, we have clarified the Radici Group approach to sustainability, a good practice that is also followed by every individual in the company. Small actions by everyone can build a better future for everyone who comes after us. Thank you for your attention. Till next time. <laughs>